General Dynamics, a vigorous, modern, high-technology corporation, meeting tomorrow's engineering needs today, doing what we do a little bit better, a little bit sooner than anyone else. In space, in the air, on land and sea, underground and underwater, we provide the materials the experience and the equipment to make things happen. There are more than 60,000 of us working throughout the world. On any given day, we're dealing with problems of space, national defense, energy and natural resources, transportation, telecommunications, and many other vital activities. With sales at the $2 billion a year level, we design and manufacture aircraft, space systems, tactical missiles, ships and submarines, electronics, data products, and telecommunications. We're the second largest producer of asbestos in the free world, the largest producer of lime in the United States, and one of America's top 10 coal producers. Big or small, if science, engineering, or technical skills are needed, General Dynamics is there. Our Atlas missile, workhorse of the U.S. space program, launched America's astronauts on their first orbit of the Earth and sent the first spacecraft into orbit around the moon. Today, Atlas is still a key to the further exploration and use of space. Centaur, the first hydrogen-fueled high-energy upper stage, another product of General Dynamics Engineering, used to boost space probes past Mars, Venus, and for the first time, past Jupiter and out beyond the solar system. When NASA's space shuttle gets off the ground, we'll be aboard with a mid-fuselage designed and built by General Dynamics. And we're working on a space tug to be used with the shuttle to transport satellites and other payloads into space beyond the shuttle's orbit. In the changing and competitive non-military aircraft field, we make fuselage sections for the McDonnell Douglas DC-10 the wide-bodied super jet used by more than 30 domestic and foreign airlines. In Canada, we make the unique CL-215 water bomber, the only flying fire extinguisher made to fight forest fires anywhere on Earth. On the military side, GD produces the combat-proven F-111, the most sophisticated and effective fighter bomber in history. Its ability to pivot its wings forward and back in flight gives it optimum aerodynamic efficiency at high and low speeds. And its automatic terrain following radar allows the aircraft to maintain a constant low-level altitude under enemy radar. And then there is the innovative tilt-wing CL-84 that recently underwent vertical and short takeoff and landing maneuvers aboard the USS Guadalcanal. In earlier years, General Dynamics gave America some of the mightiest military planes ever built, including the famed B-24, B-36, B-58, the F-102, and the F-106. Now for the air combat job of the 1980s comes the YF-16. The YF. 16, a scrappy single-seat, single-engine fighter with more punch per pound than any other plane in the sky. It began a year-long testing program at Edwards Air Force Base, California in early 1974. With a design combat weight of about 17,500 pounds, this Mach 2 fighter boasts fly-by-wire controls, an exceptional combat radius, high acceleration rates, 
and an ability to take high G turns with little discomfort to the pilot. In tactical weaponry, GD is also a leader. Our standard missile family, supersonic weapon systems capable of surface to air, surface to surface, and air to surface warfare against the enemy offers a wide range of technologically superior defense capabilities. And then there are the shoulder-fired anti-aircraft missiles, Red Eye, Hamlet and Stinger, and the Phalanx, a revolutionary ship-mounted radar-operated gun system designed to shoot down incoming missiles. General Dynamics built the Navy's first submarine in 1900, and in the next 74 years delivered more than 175 more. In 1954, we launched the Nautilus, the first nuclear-powered submarine, and became, then as now, the free world's leading designer and builder of nuclear undersea vessels. 40% of America's nuclear submarine fleet splashed into the water at electric boat, and more are on the way. The USS Philadelphia, Omaha, Groton, and New York, the first of 18 modern 688-class attack submarines General Dynamics is building for the United States Navy. And now under construction, the first Trident ballistic missile submarine, the biggest most powerful and most complex submarine ever to be built. One hundred miles farther north, General Dynamics is building a series of giant tankers at Quincy, Massachusetts, each longer than three football fields, and each with the capacity to carry all the liquefied natural gas needed to heat a city of 250,000 homes for a month. Utilizing knowledge and experience gained from years of working with super cold fuels in the space program, the LNG tanker is one of the most technologically advanced ships ever constructed and will take its place with hundreds of other high quality ships launched from the Quincy shipyard during the past 90 years. The company's family of deep sea boys provides daily information on currents temperatures, wind speed, and other important phenomena to shore-based stations around the globe. With energy needs on the rise, our Illinois coal mines become vital to the homes, schools, and businesses of the great Midwest. Lime from our quarries finds its way to the roaring fires of the steel industry only with quality lime can come quality molten steel. Canada is the free world's leading source of asbestos, and 25% of all Canadian asbestos comes from our mines at Thetford and Angaba. From here, and from our processing plant in West Germany, we service the industrial needs of Europe, the Western Hemisphere, and the world. General Dynamics also produces raw materials for the construction industry. Brick. Aggregate. Ready mix. Pre-stressed concrete. Pipe. And concrete for the highways and buildings of Heartland America. General Dynamics electronics experts design, develop, and manufacture a new generation of computer-controlled aerospace test equipment, a long-range airborne radar system for battlefield surveillance, monitor and control equipment for electric power utilities, and personnel detection radar for the U.S. Marine Corps. In the rapidly changing data products business, GD's computer output microfilm equipment has relieved the computer of its time-consuming job as a printer by transferring reams of paperwork to microfilm 
and SF Standard, which are becoming benchmarks of the industry. In telecommunications, General Dynamics means Stromberg Carlson, the largest independent telephone equipment manufacturer in the United States. For more than 80 years, Stromberg Carlson has pioneered in telecommunications, including the development of electronic switching systems, custom call features such as tone dial, push-button dialing, and more. Its new cross-read electronic PABX systems serve many hundreds of business firms, institutions, and governmental agencies around the world, while modern cross-read electronic central office systems provide fast, efficient, and sophisticated telephone service to entire cities and suburban areas. Stromberg Carlson transmission systems employing pulse code modulation and frequency division multiplexing help expand the capacity of existing telephone networks without the need for new cables. Stromberg Carlson maintains its own integrated circuit production facility. The company produces the E120 solid state electronic PABX, which delivers all of the most desirable features of larger systems while occupying only five square feet of floor space. Another sophisticated system, the Stromberg Carlson digital switch, is housed in an eight foot high bay and can handle more than 16,000 simultaneous high speed data calls with an exceptional record of error free service. Whether in telecommunications, shipbuilding, aviation, weaponry, mining, construction, or electronics. General Dynamics scientists, engineers, and production workers from coast to coast are designing, developing, and manufacturing products for the people who make things happen.